Apple Chief Executive Officer CEO Tim Cook is on a visit to Singapore and on his agenda was a meeting with Prime Minister PM Lee Shin Long. However, PM Lee had to give this meeting a miss because he came down with the flu. He said. Thus, he had to cry off an informal British phrase meaning to cancel his meeting with Mr. Cook. Thankfully, PM Lee tested a negative for COVID-19. He is otherwise fine. He added, and is working from home. PM Lee was looking forward to meeting Mr. Cook, he said. The last time the two men met was when PM Lee visited the Apple headquarters in Cupertino, California in September last year. He expressed his delight that Apple had chosen Singapore for its regional hub and is putting down further roots by expanding its campus in Ong Mo Kio. The 250 million US dollars, 340 million Singapore dollars investment is expected to create more jobs, adding to Apple's workforce of over 60,000 here. He added that he is looking forward to the completion of the expanded campus, which will run fully on renewable energy. Though PM Lee didn't meet Mr. Cook, his soon to be successor held the fort. In a Facebook post, DPM Wong, who will take over as PM next month, said during his meeting with the Apple boss, they discussed opportunities in Southeast Asia and the close partnership between Singapore and Apple. He looked forward to the partnership continuing to be strengthened in the years ahead. He added, Besides meeting the country's leaders, Mr. Cook had a very busy two days in Singapore. According to his post on X, on Thursday, April 18, he visited gardens by the bay with local photographer Lee Yik Keat. He also visited the Cerebral Palsy Alliance School Singapore to see how students and educators there used Apple's accessibility features to help them learn, communicate, and create. That evening, he made an appearance at the Apple Store in the Marina Bay Sands, where he was greeted by crowds and took in performances by local singer Benjamin Kang and music producer Evan Lowe. On Friday, April 19, he went on Mediacorp Class 95 radio show Muttons in the morning to chat with the Muttons. Mr. Cook also visited the new Apple Developer Center in One North, the first in Southeast Asia. He rounded off the day by meeting Apple staff at the company's own. M.O. Kio campus. He thanked Singapore for a fantastic visit, saying the company is excited to grow its presence with the expanded on M.O. Kio campus and look forward to deepening our connection with this amazing country.